20,000 manufacturing jobs in Wisconsin, from Green Bay to Verona to Pleasant Prairie. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at Four on this Tuesday. Busy news day coming up. Oh, very busy. Lots going on, so let's get to it. <laughs> President Biden stopped in Milwaukee to tout his bioeconomics. Will Keneally was there and is standing by with a breakdown. And the local zoo helps out in the child care department. Jalen Banks tells us more about what Vilas is doing. And a housing development in Poinette could raise the village tax base by more than $90 million. Let's take a look outside. What a refreshing day today. Oh, that is beautiful. And, and the windows it? open overnight? Yeah. I'd like to keep the windows open for <laughs> as long as possible. Maybe mm -hmm. some more rain? Greg's in the backyard. Beautiful day today. Yeah, definitely is the day to keep the windows open, and I think you're going to be able to do that for most of this week through Friday until things do change. Overall, we got some, just a little bit of cloud cover out there, but everything has pushed to the east with that low. Otherwise, we got a few clouds to the north, but otherwise, pretty sunny shine conditions with more mid-September-like temperatures, mid-70s in uh, Madison right now to a little bit of an 81 in basketball, but overall, with that north wind, it feels quite pleasant outside. Dew points are very low right now, refreshing air, really, a cool air mass. Even cooler as you go out to the west, they had some record low further to the west so it is a cooler fall like air mass that's overhead right now but that will change eventually but not this evening we're looking at really good conditions dropping back down to the mid 60s later those winds will begin to diminish with those cool temperatures overnight big picture shows you all that system pushing to the east not much cloud cover but what we do is we look out to the northwest we have the next system that we are tracking that is the front that could bring some more rain not as what we saw with the previous system along with that Coming up, we'll actually break down what the heat looks like, and that should be coming back this weekend and early next week. I'll break all that down a bit later in the broadcast. All right. Thank you, Greg. Enjoy the coolness while we can. Air Force One touched down in Milwaukee today with President Biden making his sixth visit to the Badger State since taking office. He visited a manufacturing facility that makes components used in renewable energy. Political reporter Will Keneally is there and has the latest. Will? So right here in this facility behind me is where they make the manufacturing or manufacture the components that go into wind turbines, for example, which is why President Biden chose this site to talk up his investments into quote unquote green infrastructure with some of the major federal funding bills passed during his first term. Now, it's also part of an economic message that he's trying to get out as he gears up for re-election, taking the pandemic era inflation, think Biden inflation, for example, turning that into a new spin of Bidenomics. On the day I took office, I was determined to turn around with what now they're really calling Bidenomics. It's one of the reasons why I fought so hard to write and get past the Chips and Science Act. So part of that economic message includes some Make in America provisions. That's what he's talking about with the CHIPS Act, about building more technological components here in the country. Now, Biden, this whole stop had undertones of politics here with Biden and one of Wisconsin's U.S. senators who are both going to be on the ballot next fall. And next week, even, the Republican presidential candidates will meet in this very city for their first presidential debate. We'll have more at 5 on how all of this ties together for this presidential stop here in Milwaukee. And reporting from Milwaukee, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. Well, today was field trip day for the Latino Youth Academy at the Madison Police Department. 28 youth from around Dane County are participating in the Youth Academy where they will learn the inner workings of law enforcement. Today, the campers went to the Sylvie before heading to Breeze Stevens. There, they sat down with forward Madison players who talked about their careers before having a good group scrimmage. The event was hosted by Amigos in Azul, a group of Latino officers from MPD, Fitchburg PD, Verona PD, and UW PD. I've heard the kids talking to each other. Um, they didn't know what to expect. They really didn't have an idea of what was going to happen during the week. Parents just signed them up and they showed up, but I've seen that the kids are really enjoying it and that they're surprised of everything that we're going to do during this week. And, just how they're act interacting with, with our officers, that's, that's amazing. This weekend, Amigos in Azul is hosting a free soccer camp for kids in Dane County. This Saturday at Leopold Elementary School in Madison, the camp is 10 to 2 and is for boys and girls ages 6 to 16. Well, the need for affordable child care in southern Wisconsin continues to be a struggle for many Wisconsinites. So the Henry Vila Zoo is stepping up to the plate to help out. Jalen Banks joins us and shares how it's doing that. 
The Henry Vila Zoo is, is a place known for many families as a day to go out and enjoy some fun with animals. But since the pandemic, they opened up their doors to families in need of child care. Take a look. The COVID-19 pandemic changed the world as we know and forced us all to adapt. Birth from school shutting down because of the virus came the zoo after school program or ZAP. On silent wings, the powerful birds swooped down upon the bats. The Henry Vila Zoo saw a need in the community and for staffers, child care. Jess Thompson, an education coordinator at the zoo, says they turned unused buildings at the time into classrooms. We knew that we had the ability to step in and help. Lauren Salzman, a parent who uses ZAP for her six-year-old but can't for her one-year-old, says the difference in cost is drastic. It is absolutely a second mortgage and I'm very aware of that every time I get the bill. Um, so it's, it's needed, but yeah, that, that really does take a chunk out of things. Salzman says the benefit of the program goes beyond its cost value. A lot of them brought the things that they learned about animals and the empathy and the caring for animals in their environment back to their school classrooms. And With child care still scarce in Dane County, an affordable option is in high demand. As we see need just increasing and more and more parents want a place for their families um, and for their kids to come and, and have a safe and engaging place to be after school. The zoo along with Dane County offer scholarships to lower costs for families and anticipate more requests for them if the CARES Act money for child care runs out. We'd see demand increase for scholarships and for affordable child care. A special session called by Governor Evers to address affordable child care and availability will take place Wednesday, September 20th. All right, Jalen, thank you. Uh, housing development in Poinette could raise the village tax base by more than $90 million, but it promises to bring more than just an economic boost. Kyle Pazorski joins us to share what the village would like to accomplish. Well, prices starting at $359,000, a focus on energy certified homes as well, and included gardens are just a few of what the developers are promising. It's more than just those headlines, though, according to village administrator Craig Mallon. He says the hope is to add to the Poinette community. They believe the village of 2500 offers something you can't find in large cities like Madison or Milwaukee. I'm not a salesman for Point Gardens. I am a salesperson for Point Net. Um, but if you're renting somewhere, stop. You know, you know grab a piece of the American dream here in Point Net. He tells me the American dream is alive in Point Net with this new development, a new coffee shop and a new elementary school. People he's spoken to say the new development has been met with mostly positive opinions. Point Gardens will include more than 300 homes. Phase one, which they're in right now, will total about 38. Sales agent Accord Realty tells me they expect to sell to buyers from Dane County who are either buying their first home or, lo or retirees looking to downsize. Kyle, thank you. The death toll in Hawaii now stands at 99 following the deadliest U.S. wildfire in more than a century. About 1,000 people remain unaccounted for and crews have only scoured about a quarter of the search area so far. One week since flames destroyed the historic town of Lahaina, survivors are struggling with trauma and loss as the human death toll grows. Members of the Hawaiian National Guard have joined the search and recovery effort. My dad's still there, and he refuses to come out, but there's certain things that he still needs. Authorities are working to confirm the identities of the victims they found so far. It's unclear whether downed power lines played a role in igniting the blaze. The exact cause of the wildfires is under investigation. Former President Trump is accused of trying to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election in the state of Georgia. Late Monday night, a grand jury in that state handed up an indictment against the former president and several of his allies. It's now the fourth criminal case that Trump is fighting as he runs for president again. Christian Benavides has more details from Atlanta. Former President Donald Trump is facing new charges, this time in the state of Georgia. The indictment includes 41 felony counts and is 97 pages long. Fulton County District Please Attorney Fonnie Willis pursued the case charging Trump and 18 of his allies, including attorneys John Eastman, Rudy Giuliani, and Trump Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. Trump himself is facing 13 felony counts, including violating Georgia's RICO Act, a racketeering law used to take down major crime organizations. She likes it 
because she can wrap together a lot of activities with a great number of defendants and be able to bring in evidence against one that then spills over onto the others. The RICO Act charge alone carries a mandatory minimum of five years in prison. Trump says he will present a report next week alleging election fraud in Georgia in 2020 that will clear his name. Trump slammed Willis during a campaign rally in New Hampshire last week, calling her a racist and said he did nothing wrong. I challenge the election in Georgia, which I have every right to do, which I was right about, frankly. And they want to indict me because I challenge the election. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp posted on social media Tuesday the 2020 election in Georgia was not stolen. He added that nobody has been able to prove claims of fraud in a court of law. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Atlanta. So this latest indictment naming the president also mentions Wisconsin multiple times in the text. Trump and his allies are also accused of similar roles in trying to overturn the 2020 election in Wisconsin and other states. In total, Wisconsin is mentioned nine times in the indictment. At one point, the text details an email from a Trump attorney recommending that Wisconsin meet and cast electoral votes for Trump, despite the fact that he lost the state. Well, summer isn't over yet. Still plenty of time to fire up the grill. Thank goodness. When we come back, we'll head out to the patio. Angie Horkin is here with some great steak recipes for you to try. That's when Live at 4 continues. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. There's nothing better than a great night's sleep on a new Beautyrest mattress from Steinhoffels. Right now, Beautyrest Queen mattresses start at just $2.99. Or upgrade to the luxury and comfort of a Beautyrest Black. Queen Beautyrest Black mattresses start at just $49 per month when you use Steinhoffels special 72-month financing. Plus, you get $300 in Steinhoffels cash. Steinhoffels is your sleep solution destination. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffels.com. Postmenopausal women with HR positive HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer are living longer with Cascali. So long live family time. Long live dreams and long live you. Cascali is a pill proven to help women live longer when taken with an aromatase inhibitor. And Cascali helps preserve quality of life. So you're not just living, you're living well. Cascali can cause lung problems or an abnormal heartbeat, which can lead to death. It can cause serious skin reactions, liver problems, and low white blood cell counts that may result in severe infections. Avoid grapefruit during treatment. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including breathing problems, cough, chest pain, a change in your heartbeat, dizziness, yellowing of the skin or eyes, dark urine, tiredness, loss of appetite, abdomen pain, bleeding, bruising, fever, chills, or other symptoms of an infection, a severe or worsening rash, are or plan to become pregnant or breastfeeding. Long live hugs and kisses. Ask about Kiskali and long live life. At Machinery Row Bicycles, you'll find bicycle store quality electric e-bikes from Trek, Electra, Felt, Giant, and more. Trek offers the best-selling e-bike in America, Trek Verve Plus, under $2,500. At Machinery Row Bicycles, you'll find fat e-bikes, mountain e-bikes, road e-bikes, bike path e-bikes, and more. Free services included. The place to shop for your new e-bike is Machinery Row Bicycles, the most beautiful bicycle store in the world. You should Angie that. Angie what? Angie that. It means comparing custom quotes from skilled service professionals or booking at an upfront price so you can find the best price for you. Get started today at Angie.com. Patio doors, patio doors. Scott the window guy can do patio doors. Scott the window guy can do patio doors. We do patio doors at scottthewindowguy.com. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4. 
Welcome back. There's a chance for you to learn about the Madison Reading Project this week. Yeah, they're hosting Breakfast with the Bus tomorrow. This is an open, ho open house style event for the Madison community. You get a morning tour of both the Big Red Reading Bus and the Book Center, but also learn more about work at the nonprofit and how you can support the mission to ignite a love for reading. We're finally able to open the bus doors, our book center doors, and welcome everyone in. Um, they're able to come and select a book from the bus, check us out, see what we're all about. If you want to learn more about how to donate books or to give books or provide books, whether it's to educators, kids, families, the doors are open tomorrow morning and we're excited to meet with everybody. You can have breakfast with the bus at the Madison Reading Project tomorrow morning between 7.30 and 9. This is their this is at their location east of Fish Hatchery Road along Greenway Cross. Well, in a first of its kind trial, a Montana state judge ruled in favor of 16 young environmental activists this week. The judge said Montana's government has not been upholding its state constitutional obligation to provide a clean and healthy environment. The young plaintiffs argued that they were being harmed by wildfire smoke, excessive heat and other climate change issues. I hope that because Judge Seeley ruled our current energy policy unconstitutional that we might be able to construct an energy policy that's more in line with Montana's goals and constitution. State policy prevents agencies from looking at greenhouse gas emissions when evaluating fossil fuel permits, something the judge ruled as unconstitutional. But it's unclear if there will be any changes because it's up to Montana's Republican-controlled legislature to create new policies, and the state attorney general's office says it will appeal the ruling. China came out with some grim economic news today, and that sparked a global stock sell-off. The Dow Industrials lost 1%, closing to 34000 946, the NASDAQ dropped 157 points. The S&P 500 was off 51 points. It's the best time of year here in southern Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. The garden is bringing us all good I stuff. I know, and after a couple <laughs> of months, it's finally to reap all those uh, rewards. And Angie Horkin with Wisconsin Beef Council is here to tell us about what we can do with our gardens now. I know. I thought it was a perfect time to talk about steak salads because yeah. salad recipes incorporate a lot of garden produce. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got some that's that's plentiful right now in Wisconsin. Okay. Right. So yeah, two, two different recipes. Guy. So this is kind of a southwestern flavored salad. Just started with a bed of romaine, but then we're going to add in black beans, sweet corn. So that's two ears of sweet corn. Okay. And I did grill that up. You can grill that alongside the same time as your steaks. Okay. And then some cherry tomatoes, some one avocado. Four flies. Four uh -huh. flies. Uh -huh. And yeah. partridge in it. And a little bit of red <laughs> onion. And then um, a top sirloin steak. So all I did was kind of rub this with taco seasoning. That's, that's it. it. Super easy. Right, so give it that taco wow. flavor. Okay. And then um, the recipe has a homemade vinaigrette. So buttermilk, um, some pickled like jalapeno rings, mm -hmm. a little cilantro in there, a little garlic. And you can do this ahead of time like in your food processor okay. or a blender. I need, I need yeah. to smell that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's potent stuff. <laughs> yeah, so. Just dump it all in there. <laughs> if you don't want the jalapeno, you could do like those uh, banana pepper rings. Oh, yeah. And it mm -hmm. wouldn't be as spicy. Okay. Right. Second recipe, it's called gazpacho steak salad. I actually am using a chuck steak. Okay. So I tenderized it with this little guy. That I you purchased. like your tenderized. Yeah, I do. Oh. I am loving it. <laughs> I'm loving it for chuck steaks, skirt steaks, yeah. plate steaks. Even like the top sirloin, you could okay. do that. You don't have to. Um, top brown okay. for sure. Now, but I did marinate the chuck in one little mini can of spicy um, tomato juice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I did that ahead of time. So while that's resting, we'll make a, another, use another can and we'll make a homemade dressing. So I got some tomato, cilantro, and cuca uh, oop, green pepper, a little red wine vinegar, and a little garlic. That's good stuff. Uh huh. Okay, so we're gonna mix that up. That's our dressing, and then just oh a God. bed of greens, some more tomatoes. <laughs> Control Ooh, yourself, okay. Mark. Easy. Yes. <laughs> Green pepper. This one has a lot of garden produce, and then cucumber. Lots of cucumbers. Well, we everybody's extra, got cucumber right, right now. Yeah. Yep. And then the steak. Then the dressing. Let's see if I can. Then we can drizzle okay. that over the top. Nice and fun and oh, fresh. Yeah. You and you know, using mm -hmm. one can of that spicy, so both of my like marinades mm -hmm. or seasonings here are one yeah. ingredient. <laughs> well, and it's, it's, so, it's so easy. Yeah. Super easy. So slice that up, 
Put that on top. To offset Drizzle all the with cutting. a little salad. <laughs> Eat something easy. <laughs> right. Right. So that's it. Gazpacho steak salad with chuck. Okay. And then the southwestern steak salad with a top sirloin. My, and this is, it's really easy to do. Yeah. And if you are getting most of your ingredients from your backyard, yeah. Yeah. I mean, how perfect Econ is that? Economical, Chuck steaks are yeah. economical. Top sirloin's not bad either. And the one thing I love about salads too is you're not buying like a steak for everyone. One pound steak mm -hmm. is technically four servings. So you oh. could feed a family four. Ooh, like Maybe that. not a big hungry yeah, growing family. more family. economical. But, and yeah. yeah, definitely. So uh -huh. check out beeftips.com and click on As Seen on TV and you'll find these uh -huh. recipes plus some other great recipes. Perfect for this time of year. Yep. Oh, oh we got plenty nice. of grilling left. Yes, yes, we do. All right. Thank Thanks, you, Angie. Angie. Of course. Well, it was a heartwarming, based on a true story, Oscar-winning film. Oh, yeah. The trouble is the story in Blindside, it's not true. More on that coming up after Greg's first born forecast. Flex Steel is furniture that comforts, furniture for living, furniture with a heart of steel. Save big during our Flex Steel authorized sale, going on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. This summer, happiness is a new Chevy. You can go farther, tow more, and bring along everyone you love. Your road to happiness begins in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on select popular Chevy SUVs when you finance with GM Financial. Plus, make no monthly payments for 90 days. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line? You'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Go, 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 go. You got me. Hi, you're it. Imagine a world with no drama. With 4imprint, you don't have to chase down the perfect promotional products. Exclusive apparel, bags, drinkware, and more. 4imprint will help you capture the moment and guarantee to deliver your order on time and on budget. Take the drama out of ordering promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. My Nona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection is here 24 hours a day. Seven days a week for all your residential and commercial plumbing services. From installation, repairs, and maintenance to complete sewer and drain cleaning, we've got you covered. Visit MononaPFP.com. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. Flex Steel is furniture that comforts, furniture for living furniture with a heart of steel. Save big during our Flex Steel authorized sale, going on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Well, take a look at this. The Red Bull Flutog comes crashing into the Ohio River. 39 teams from across the U.S. in the homemade fly machines competed to see who could make the biggest splash in Cincinnati. The Wright brothers, Ohio natives, by the way, would be so proud. Flutog is German for flying day. And boy, did these oh. teams try. Teams were judged on creativity, sportsmanship, and how far they could fly and then flop. <laughs> All teams crash landed safely. <laughs> Oh. A, they don't even make it off the dock. That's all I was going to say. That's not really flying. That's no, that, that say, was my little all that work to, to build these contraptions. <laughs> that just looks like they're just falling off. Yeah. <laughs>
They're not flying. They're not flying. Oh, boy. All right. Beautiful day today. Wow. Beautiful day to be... fly, too, yeah. out there right now. So, yeah, definitely comfortable fall like temperatures, mid 70s, which this whole week. And we got high school football, obviously, starting this weekend, too. Really? That starts already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Can we go now? <laughs> slow it down. <laughs> well, it's starting. But fortunately, we do have heat coming back in the forecast, but it won't be till this week and weekend. I'll break all that down after the break. The Agora Art Fair returns Saturday, August 19th in Fitchburg, showcasing the work of over 100 area artists in a variety of mediums. Plus, great live music, food, hop house, beer and wine garden, and lots of fun activities for the kids. Visit agoraartfair.com. The new Tea Box Event and Dining Room with Private Bar is there waiting for you at Vitense Golfland. Two large HD TVs are available for viewing, meetings, and casual gatherings. Private Bar is available for any type of event. No meeting can compare with adding activities of Vitense Golfland. Enjoy indoor outdoor miniature golf, golf suites, and golf and multi sport simulators. Add chocolate shop ice cream. As our sign says, ice cream solves everything. Infuse life and fun into your meetings and events at Vitense Golfland. My late father-in-law lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had AMD. I didn't know it then, but it can progress to GA, an advanced form of the disease. His struggle with vision loss from AMD made me want to help you see warning signs of GA, like straight lines that seem wavy, blurry or missing visual spots that make it hard to see faces, like this one, or trouble with low light. That makes driving at night a real challenge. If you've been diagnosed with AMD and notice vision changes, don't wait. GA is irreversible. It's important to catch it early. Talk to your eye doctor about GA and learn more at gawontwait.com. Set summer in motion with the most electrifying Honda vehicles yet, like the CRV and the Accord, both with available hybrid powertrains. Designed to deliver more thrilling performance and more innovative tech. Make every adventure more electrifying with Honda, the most awarded brand in car and driver 10 best history. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Here's your parachute. Certain it's okay? Are you foreign print certain? Certainty matters, so congratulate coworkers or say thank you with promotional products from 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. The Agora Art Fair returns Saturday, August 19th in Fitchburg, showcasing the work of over 100 area artists in a variety of mediums. Plus, great live music, food, hop house, beer and wine garden, and lots of fun activities for the kids. Visit agoraartfair.com. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Yeah, with the precipitation yesterday, give me an update how we look for the month and year. We almost had two inches in Madison, so really we're looking good for the month. Now we're above average too, 2.22, but the bigger story is for the yearly. We're finally above average. The last time we were above was back in April, so now we're definitely doing well. So we'll see what the drought monitor looks like when it comes out Thursday. We'll see some improvement, but it won't be totally gone for the way. We'll see more showers, thunderstorms potentially Wednesday night, late Wednesday night, Thursday. That won't be anything like we saw uh, the previous storm. Maybe a stronger storm or two up to the north. And then with all the hot, humid conditions next week, we could see a storm next week too, but chances look pretty slim right now. Temperatures pretty pleasant through Friday. Then we got warm to hot conditions by the weekend and lingering into the first half of next week. It does look like that does cool off towards the tail end of next week too. So it will be about a three to four day stretch of maybe the hot and humid conditions. The front that we're we're talking about that's going to be coming really tomorrow night is up to the north. You'll see it start progressing into Minnesota by later tomorrow and then swing a cold front through. Probably the time frame will be overnight hours closer to Thursday morning. So that's why the severe threat is not as much as you see. It kind of falls apart as it pushes east. We'll have the winds will probably be the bigger story with that, but that'll come through and otherwise we'll see pleasant conditions in for Thursday into Friday before then the heat and humidity come. Precipitation with this, not much. A quarter to maybe half you go further north. Once again, a lot of areas further south towards the Illinois border. May not see anything, just a cloud cover and wind with this. 
but we will see some precipitation for some areas. Then as we look at the severe threat, due to the timing of it, more of the severe threat should be up to the north, and then we'll see if those storms can hold together overnight, but it still looks like that's the best chance to see any strong or severe storms, and we'll update you if this does change, but for right now, I think we're looking pretty good for that. Overall, if you look at this evening, we're just going to see really cool conditions overnight. Temperatures will drop back down into the mid to upper 50s. Some cloud cover, maybe some river area fog by tomorrow morning, but I think most areas will stay fog free. And then as we go in through tomorrow, the one thing you'll notice is the winds out of the southwest will turn ahead of this front. Quite breezy, but it will help to boost those temperatures probably back up into the 80s. Right now, average temperature for most of the area is around 80 for this time of year, so we're going to be right back there. You'll notice the cloud cover, too, beginning to approach with the front. No thunderstorms to be expected well after midnight. As you see through the evening hour, you're just going to see those winds actually increase. And one thing you'll notice, the winds actually increase overnight. Won't be in front of the higher elevations, the ridge lines and all those. Could see winds sustain over 25 miles per hour with this front as it comes through Thursday. And then they'll turn around on the backside of this Wednesday, uh, Thursday to the northwest. So it could be quite breezy going Wednesday night through Thursday, and that'll usher in some cooler air, fall-like temperatures once again, kind of like the temperatures we saw today in mid-70s we get into Thursday, so the wind. The big story is the heat coming next week. It's the dome. It's down to the north, excuse me, the south. It's going to begin to build up and expand up to our area as we get to Saturday and to Sunday. Still some uncertainty how hot it'll get, if it'll stick down there. Mild conditions will be up to north. Also notice the southwest. There's a hurricane that's going to be forming down there. It's going to be called probably Hillary. It's going to get awfully close to southwest California, too. But as we get to Sunday and Monday, you see it expand, and then it'll start breaking down or at least get more uncertain as we get to next Tuesday and Thursday. You'll see the wind start to turn. The milder air begins to approach, so I think that's when it'll begin to break. But once again, if this does push further north, we could be stronger. We could see mid-90s. If it stays more front south, maybe upper 80s to 90s. So this is the heat. Definitely the humidity with this, with all the vegetation that's greened up, the precipitation that we've had, dew points upper 60s, probably close to 70. So that'll be the big story going in. Hopefully it won't last. You can see by Wednesday, Thursday, the flow begins to turn back around. We get more mild conditions. That'll probably be when we might see a thunderstorm chance too, as kind of maybe a front comes through is when we get to that point. So something to keep in mind of for your weekend activities going into early next week. You'll see those temperatures boost back up to 90. Once again, it could be warmer than this with the heat index probably close to mid 90s if the dew point gets up there. Thunderstorm chances maybe by Tuesday or Wednesday, iffy on that. And then we look like we cool back down for the later half of next week, too. So this doesn't feel like August weather. It this will. Doesn't it will. Like it. <laughs> I'm used to the consistent, you know, like high, you know, heat and humidity. And stuff, uh, so. we, we've been lucky. We've uh, mm -hmm. we've been had many heat indexes above 95, like we should have been August or July. So we've we've kind of stayed not having a strong. But we heat. had we had 90s before. Yeah, but the 90s back in June and that were just dry, too. We never had the dew points as high, too. So It was that dry heat. Yes. <laughs> that killed all the lawns. Yes. yes. Well, yes. Now we're going to see dew points probably mm -hmm. near 70. you got the corn that's mature. Everything's greened up for all the rain. Yeah. So, And the bugs will be out, too. Ooh, the flies are out. Well, yeah. everything will be out. So. Mm -hmm. But uh, interesting. Watch Southern California with that Hurricane Hillary. It's coming close. It'll give them some more moisture. Obviously, uh -huh. the monsoon moisture will be plentiful down there. But it's getting awfully close before it turns to the west. So okay. something else. Last time was 19... 1939. Long Beach had a tropical storm hit mm. when it made landfall. Wow. So it's been a okay. Keep an eye on Hillary. Yeah. <laughs> Half for years. Thank <laughs> you. The former NFL player immortalized in the feel-good Oscar-winning film The Blind Side is now alleging a key part of his life story was a lie. The story gained national attention after Michael Orr was taken in by a well-off white family in Mississippi while in high school. But yesterday, he filed a 14-page petition in a Tennessee court alleging the Tui family never adopted him. Instead, the 37-year-old argues he was tricked into agreeing to a conservatorship. Errol Barnett has more. For former NFL player Michael Orr, the truth blindsided him when he says he learned his family was not legally his own. In a lawsuit filed in Tennessee Monday, Orr alleges that when he was 18, he was tricked into signing legal papers as part of the adoption process. Last February, he says he learned they were conservatorship papers, granting Leanne Tui and Sean Tui guardianship, which means, quote, ultimate control of all his contracts, while providing him no familial relationship with the Tuis. But now, Orr is suing to end the conservatorship, bar the Tuis from using his name and likeness, and what he says is a share of the money they earned from his story. We want to know 
if you would like to become part of this family. Kind of thought I already was. Orr's remarkable tale was portrayed in the hit Oscar-winning movie, The Blind Side. You protect his blind side. When you look at him, you think of me. The then teen who had an unstable home life was taken in by Leanne Tui, played by Sandra Bullock, and her family before starring in college football and the NFL. The film earning more than $300 million. But the petition states or received no compensation for the film, quote, that would not have existed without him. Meanwhile, the Tuies and their children allegedly received hundreds of thousands of dollars. Orr has long questioned his portrayal in the film. I think it took away the hard work and the dedication that I created uh, from a child and going to school in the third grade, getting myself up, first one in the locker room, last one out. Uh, and I think the biggest for me is, you know, being portrayed, uh, not being able to read or write. The Tuies have continued to publicly refer to Orr as their adopted son, attorney and conservatorship expert Christopher Melcher. In these conservatorship abuse cases, there's a position of trust where one adult gives over this power to the other adult believing that they have their best interests at heart or not even understanding what they're signing. He was an adult at that time. There was no reason for him to have to surrender those rights. CBS News has reached out to the Tui family and have not yet heard back, but Sean Tui tells the Daily Memphian newspaper that the allegations are insulting, he says, and that the family did not make much money off the movie, and they are devastated by this lawsuit. He added that he will end the conservatorship if that's what or once. Michael Law said in a statement, quote, I will let the lawsuit speak for itself and will offer no further comment. Errol Barnett, CBS News, New York. Wow, it's quite a story. As we to be continued. Yes, exactly. Mm. Well, coming up next year in live at four, triplets in the jury box. Who would have left? <laughs> and then at five, seven Wisconsinites are helping in Maui. Catherine Merck tells us how. invites you to celebrate summer with our hot summer sale. We're talking about hot savings of 23%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofer three years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Get on board for our hot summer sale. Save 23% off gutters or insulation with any full siding project. Schedule your consultation today at fryconstruction.com. I was stuck. Unresolved depression symptoms were in my way. I needed more for my antidepressant. Vralar helped give it a lift. Adding Vralar to an antidepressant is clinically proven to help relieve overall depression symptoms better than an antidepressant alone. And in Vralar clinical studies, most saw no substantial impact on weight. Elderly dementia patients have increased risk of death or stroke, report unusual changes in behavior or suicidal thoughts. Antidepressants can increase these in children and young adults. Report fever, stiff muscles, or confusion, as these may be life-threatening, or uncontrolled muscle movements, which may be permanent. High blood sugar, which can lead to coma or death, weight gain, and high cholesterol may occur. Movement dysfunction and restlessness are common side effects. Stomach and sleep issues, dizziness, increased appetite, and fatigue are also common. Side effects may not appear for several weeks. I didn't have to change my treatment. I just gave it a lift. Ask about Vralar and learn how Abvi can help you save.
Here in Milwaukee, President Joe Biden touted his economic message, the Bidenomics message. We'll have a full breakdown on what that means for Wisconsin coming up tonight at 5. We have the chance for storms tomorrow night with temperatures becoming hot and humid for the weekend and a good chunk of next week. I'll have the details at 5. And ahead at 6, News 3 now introduces us to seven brave Wisconsinites who are journeying to Hawaii to help those who have nowhere to turn. That's tonight at 6. I get to give the weather yes, satellite a spin, <laughs> and we've landed in Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, your namesake. Oh, and a little bit cloudy there, 80, but 80, 80 degrees. degrees. Yeah. Probably That's humid. pretty pleasant. It's a nice city. That's good. I'm glad to know. <laughs> Just visit us. Send me a t-shirt. I'm Charlotte. <laughs> I want my t-shirt. Disorder in the court. In Utah recently, a courtroom doubled as a nursery, sort of. Mm, a juror who could not find anyone to watch her kids had to bring her infant triplets and a four-year-old to court. <laughs> oh, how fun. Hilarity ensued, and much of it was caught on video. Jeannie Mose reports. Triplets are three handfuls when you only have... Hey, careful! Two hands. So when Utah mom Tori Scow says she was not excused from jury duty, even though she had triplet babies and a toddler and no babysitter. And I just knew it was going to be a crap show. So that's why I was like, I'm going to film some of this. And you thought you whined about having jury duty. <laughs> What's a mom to do? I fed them more snacks than they've ever had in their entire life to keep them quiet. A technique practiced during our interview. Whose hand is that feeding the kids? My husband. It only partially works. <laughs> At times, mom says the triplets drowned out the judge's questions to potential jurors. But the worst was when they got sick of being in the wagon. That's when they started screaming and they pooped. Justice may be blind, but she can still smell. Eventually, mom performed consecutive diaper changes out in the parking lot. Someone suggested the kids should also have their boxes ticked for their first jury duty summons. A nice officer did supply them with toys. Finally, after two and a half hours, they were dismissed. Was this the most embarrassing thing you've done as a, as a mother of triplets? Yes. I mean, obviously, with triplets, we have a lot of embarrassing moments. This was a lot of law, but not much order. <laughs> Genie Mose, CNN, <laughs> New York. Well, at least she did her duty. For the love of all that's holy. <laughs> you know, they couldn't have just let her go first and answer the questions or whatever, and, and you where know? Was the, where was the husband? Well, probably working, I, I would guess, right? All right. But you don't have child care? All's well that ends well. what happens. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. Well, we are in the middle of Madison Black Restaurant Week, and it's more than just about food. It's also about culture. Feed your mind and your body will... Find out everything you need to know about the week when Live at Four continues. Fun means one thing. It's time to visibly say goodbye to crow's feet, fine lines, wrinkles, and under eye bags and say hello to smooth, beautiful, younger looking skin in 10 minutes with Plexiderm. Oh my God. I can't believe I have no lines in my face. I'm like 20 years younger. Plexiderm smooths away wrinkles without foundation, without color makeup, and without expensive procedures. And it works in 10 minutes. Plus, the results last up to 10 hours. And best of all, you could try it for only $14.95 this summer. This isn't the first time I've been on TV raving about this product. It's amazing. My friends, my family, they can't believe it. There's been creams, there's been lotions. Nothing works like this. We were away on vacation. If you go down to the islands, they always want to take you in a booth and put some stuff on you. And my husband said, boy, that stuff really works. And I said, I washed this off hours ago. This is Plexiderm. This is what works. When I tried Plexiderm the first time, my daughter said, oh, Dad, did you get a haircut? And I said, no, nah, I tried this Plexiderm product out. Oh, you look so much younger. I said, oh, thank you. The instant results are from naturally-based silicates found in shell clay. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms, rapidly reducing under-eye bags and wrinkles from view in minutes. The science is incredible, but the results are even better. 
<laughs> no, this looks really good. All these lines are gone. Amazing. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I look amazing. It's like so full of myself. <laughs> I've had under eye bags for a very long time and it sucks. Finally, I tried something called Plexiderm. I put it on my face and I'm not joking. It works. So take action this summer and pack up your under eye bags and wrinkles and put them on vacation with Plexiderm. Try our summertime special and get it for only $14.95. Plus get free shipping. Visit Plexiderm trial.com or call the number on your screen. I'm Scott the Window Guy with AHD Wisconsin Windows. Our solid core. Cut! Uh, sorry everyone, I get a notification every time I get a positive review online. Makeup. Thanks Dawn, we think our windows are pretty great too. Take two. I'm Scott the Window Guy with AHD Wisconsin Windows. Our solid core, composite frame, triple pane windows, are worth a positive review at scottthewindowguy.com. Cut! Somebody give me his phone. And seriously? Hello, I'm Tommy Van Ness from the Tommy Van Ness Realty Group. The Tommy Van Ness team has a real passion for real estate and would love to work with you on buying and selling your house. We are a multi-award winning team with over a half a billion in sales. Our strong work ethic and negotiation skills will help guide you through the buying or selling process. If you're considering buying or selling in 2023, now is the time. Why, Why settle, settle for, for less? less? Call Tommy Van S. Yeah, so far we're not having too many issues, but we do have like Todd drive ramp. There was a disabled vehicle there that's starting to see a little bit of slowdown, but so far nothing too much impacting that. Also, if you look into the interstate too, we've also had a couple disabled vehicles up there too. Just a little bit of a slowdown to, to the intersection too, but overall nothing too significant yet. Overall, normal construction areas go down to Verona on 151. No issues. You go further west towards Mount Horeb. Up to the north, everything is still looking good along interstate going up to the Dells and going to the south too. No really significant issues going down to Janesville too. Once again, we're looking at good temperatures through the rest of the week, but once again, get prepared for some heat and humidity this weekend through next week. Something I know it's August, but we're gonna have to deal with it, you guys. One more time. Thanks for the warning. Yeah, <laughs> I'm ready. All right, a koala named Matilda has predicted that Australia will beat England in tomorrow's Women's World Cup semifinal at Stadium Australia in Sydney. Matilda woke from her 20 hour long sleep and went with her eucalyptus filled gut when making the choice between sitting next to an Australian scarf or an English scarf. She corrected, correctly, uh, correctly predicted Australia would beat France in the quarterfinals last Saturday, so we will see if she continues to be a lucky charm. They're so cute, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Well, Madison is becoming famous for its wide variety of, and quality of our restaurants. And this week, you can celebrate the flavors of African-American, African, and Caribbean cuisine because it is Madison Black Restaurant Week now in its eighth year. It's presented by the Madison Black Chamber of Commerce, and its president, Camille Carter, joins us along with Donette Johnson from M&J Jamaican Kitchen. You're here as well. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you so, for having us. So, Camille, tell us about the whole week going on here. What's going on? Well, we have an exciting week for our eighth annual Madison Black mm -hmm. Restaurant Week. We started the activities on Sunday with our Soul Food, our Soul Food Sunday mm -hmm. brunch, in which we had many people there, including me. I was Mark. there, yeah. Thank you. And then we have a mixer and an amateur banana pudding cook-off on this Wednesday at Olin Park from 5 until 8. Uh, we will also meet down at Dane Dances and enjoy some food down Aww. there and celebrate there. And then we'll close Black Restaurant Week with the Food Taste Jamboree on this Sunday at the Feed Kitchen from 2 until 5. Talk about the importance and the impact about this week. The impact is, is it's residual. That's the best way that I can put this. This campaign is ideally uh, generated to increase and increase the awareness and promote that promote black owned businesses across Madison and Dane County and really help to lift their sales and help them to meet new customers. And it does just that. And, and share cultures. And share cultures, absolutely. And, and we all love gathering mm -hmm. and building community over food. And speaking of food, Danette, you're here. Yeah. Welcome. Thank tell, you. tell us about your business. Oh, I started this business part time um, in 2021. And last year I decided to take it full time. And so it's been doing very good. Food, it's food cart? 
Yeah, I got a food cart and we also do catering. And you and said you've been cooking since you were how old? Seven years old. <laughs> and now, but you were doing other stuff and then yes, you, just came, young, you came back to your passion. Yeah, because I used to do a lot of cooking for my friends and they were like, you need to do this because, you know, you can do this full time. So you always mm -hmm. had to bring the food to yeah, everything. Yeah, I always have Every to bring party. the food or anytime I have a party at home. So you Speaking brought food to the so, party. So yeah. what do we got so here? So we got jerk chicken and we all got jerk chicken. And oh then we got Lord. a jerk pork right here. Mm -hmm. And it's served with rice and beans, oh. a cabbage mix, and fried plantains. It's and my favorite. Our Thank you. Homemade jerk <laughs> sauce. So, you can cook anything Jamaican? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, I can cook anything Jamaican. Because I was this? born in Jamaica and raised. What does this event mean to you to be oh, able to share your gifts with people? This is my first year doing this, so, you know, it's very excited about it and, you know, to promote it myself mm -hmm. and, you know, promote also my business. And how many restaurants and food carts do you have? We have uh, 30 food carts, restaurants, and caterers uh, participating this year. Gosh. It's on or, Prairie and Whitewater and all over the place. Yes, yes. And, and actually, I think there's more. That's 30 that will be at the food cart jamboree, mm -hmm. but we have over 40, I think. All right. You have until Sunday. The Black Madison Black Restaurant Week runs through the 20th. Jamboree August 20th, as, mm -hmm. as Camille mentioned, at the Feed, feed Kitchens. Go to Madison to Black Member Chamber, that is, mm -hmm. dot com for the list of all the restaurants and you can check out Everything's the menus. Everything's there. And buy your tickets and, and volunteer. volunteer. Okay, you could use volunteers. We can use volunteers. And okay. All tickets sold online. Congratulations. Um, vote for your Thank favorite. you so much. Nice. Oh, you vote for your favorite as yes. well. Yes. Oh, that is yes. so important, Donette. It's where <laughs> Madison favorites, that's the big oh. is. So as you're experimenting uh -huh. with different places to yeah. eat, don't forget to vote for your Madison favorite. Camille Donat, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll have the final check of your forecast coming up. Donate blood at Stoughton Health's upcoming blood drive on August 18th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The event will be hosted at our Community Health and Wellness Center. Sign up online at bloodcenter.org. When it's hot, all you want is some relief. Relief from the heat outside, relief from sleepless nights, and relief from big electric bills. Even your air conditioning unit needs some relief. So when you wrap your home with our premium injection foam, it's like putting your entire house in a cooler. It keeps the hot air out, the cool air in, and your electric bills lower. And right now, when we foam your walls, we'll insulate your attic for free. USA Insulation. Here's your parachute. Packed it myself. Certain it's okay? Mm hmm. Are you foreign print certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of congratulating coworkers or saying thank you for being a customer with promotional products from 4imprint. Our expert team is dedicated to making your satisfaction a certainty. Talk to myself. Land the perfect products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. First Choice Dental's got going to the dentist solved. And when you've got 11 convenient neighborhood clinics, you can solve a lot of problems, like helping you get in and get back to your busy day with snap appointments. Schedule your appointment at firstchoicedental.com. Donate blood at Stoughton Health's upcoming blood drive on August 18th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The event will be hosted at our Community Health and Wellness Center. Sign up online at bloodcenter.org. Here in Milwaukee, President Joe Biden touted his economic message, the Bidenomics message. We'll have a full breakdown on what that means for Wisconsin coming up tonight at 5. Plus, how the Henry Violet Zoo is helping local parents with their child care needs. Exploring Wisconsin's vital link to the Republican Party's past, present, and future. Ahead of the first presidential debate in Milwaukee, I'm taking you to the place in Wisconsin where the GOP got its start. Thursday on News 3 Now at 6. Enjoy the pleasant, even fall-like temperatures week before the heat arrives this weekend. We also could see a shower or thunderstorm Wednesday night, along with breezy or windy conditions Wednesday and Thursday. On the next Live at 4, we will look at the medical benefits of psychedelic drugs for treating mental disorders. And Consumer Reports has advice on choosing the right roadside assistance coverage. Not all are created equal. That's tomorrow at 4.
Auto Designer Kids Package or Free Lens Upgrade. Wisconsin Vision. See more life. Look, Mom, I found one. Oh, yeah, you did. But we need an ATM from our bank, unless you want to spend a small fortune in fees. <laughs> no, thank you. Banking with BMO means more fee-free ATMs than the two largest U.S. banks combined, including places like pharmacies and grocery stores. Saving money and more convenient. <laughs> Look at you being so helpful. What'd you expect? You're standing at a help stop. That's you. <laughs> that's me, at a desk. When a bank helps you get and stay ahead, that's the BMO effect. Get 11% off your flooring project now at Menards. Start your renovations with Great Lakes Vinyl Plank Flooring. It's durable, waterproof, and features an attached pad for added comfort and noise reduction. Heritage Vinyl Plank is $3.29 per square foot after rebate. You can also check out our great selection of Shaw Carpet. Brilliant Splash Carpet adds comfort and warmth to your floors. Right now, only $0.99 cents per square foot after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. In 1930, we began helping people in Milwaukee who were hurt and killed by the carelessness of others. For more than 90 years, the awards for our clients totals well into the billions of dollars, probably more than all the other personal injury firms in the state combined. When entering a negotiation, it helps to have that reputation on your side. We have the talent and resources to take on the big corporations for regular people all over Wisconsin. Habish, Habish & Rotier, National Reputation, Hometown Service. At Bergstrom Automotive, you'll never pay above manufactured suggested retail price. That'd be like bringing a sword to a dinosaur fight. Silly. That would be silly. Yes, you'll always pay fair market price and never above MSRP. If you're tired of hearing no, join the Bergstrom Automotive family for the yes. Bergstrom, for the yes. In today's final touch, irresistible bagels you cannot eat. Well, a lot of food on this show today. I know. <laughs> Felt's Bakery in Montauk, New York lives up to its name. At Felt's Bakery, all the bagels are made entirely out of felt. Customers get to choose from 13 varieties of bagels, each hand-sewn and available plain, or filled with a selection of New York staples like poppy seed bagel with lox and a schmear. <laughs> the lettuce... <laughs> Pickles, the beef, all made out of felt. The whole thing is an exhibit put on by a British artist. Her name is Lucy Sparrow. The bagel shop is the latest addition for her portfolio of exhibitions made from felt. She's done the pharmacy, a supermarket, and a convenience store in the past, all made out of felt. Each piece is paid and took the artist eight months to complete. Everything's for sale, and Felt's Bagels is open to the public art gallery in Montauk. It runs through September 4th. You don't okay. get this, do you? I don't. Why? Yeah. <laughs> it's an art. Like, why? Art. It's look, art. At, look at those onions. <laughs> That's our time for now. Thanks for watching. <laughs> News 3 Now at 5 starts right now.